Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, what a nice hug. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who hugs? Who hugs? Jump in, jump in. Still, come here. It's got the best hug still. You've been busy making music. Life's been very good. Um, yeah, I'm working on my first album, mm. my debut album, which is a bit scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's been good. I've been in the studio like every day. Have you got um, an idea for the album? Is it like, have you got a plan for it? Like a concept for it? Or is it just... Yes, yeah, so I've got a concept. Yeah. Um, Tell us about that. So the name <laughs> might change, <clears throat> but right now it's called Dear John. Dear John. Um, yes, yeah, a bit deep in it. <laughs> um, basically, it's about, or well, it's been inspired by this guy who's from Ghana. Um, I met him here, but he lives in Ghana. And we kind of like, we're in a long distance thing mm. for like three months. Mm. And I know I sound like a crazy girl, mm. but I swear to you, we were meant to get married. Mm. <laughs> like, we're going to be together forever. Mm. And. He just switched up, like, so it was all going well. We spoke every single day for hours and hours on FaceTime for three months. And then when I said, oh, okay, I've booked my ticket, I'm coming to Ghana for Christmas, he just switched up. He was like, oh, um, I don't know if you're gonna have fun. Ghana's actually not that lit. Knowing full well, Ghana is too lit. <laughs> and was just like, you know, I'm a boring guy. I don't know whether I'm gonna actually even have time to show you around. Just like every single excuse he could think of why I shouldn't come to Ghana. So I just came to the conclusion that he's got a girlfriend. Yeah. He's definitely, got, he's definitely yeah. got a girlfriend, didn't he? Um, but it's good that you learned that now before going out there and stuff. Like, yeah. Can you imagine? Again, again, yeah. yeah. So it was, it was mad awkward. Like I went out there and we linked up one time and I swear it was like he was trying to hide from somebody. He was like, oh, I don't want to go to any of the bait clubs, mm. blah, 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 whatever. Um, but yeah, so, so a lot of the songs are just inspired by that situation of like, what if? So you've written them? Mm. Like all in the last, like how long? How long has it taken you to write? So, so from November. From November. Yeah. Nice. So it's been what? Fresh. Like yeah, it's still it's all fresh. Nice. Yeah, best time to get it down. Mhm. Mm mm. While I'm still pissed. Yeah. <laughs> While I'm still fuming. Yeah, it's the emotions, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The emotions, like I guess, produce creativity. Well. Yeah. Get, get the creative juices flowing sometimes. Yeah, you know, definitely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you've got to live, I think, before you can write stuff. As soon as I heard the song, I fell in love with it. As soon as I just heard like the first bit of the beat, I fell in love with it. It's just instant. The beat's just instant. You just feel, I don't know, warm. Yeah. It feels warm, but the then it also gets it. you, yeah. yeah. It's got a warmth to it, definitely. It gets you moving, though, at the same time as well, like when it gets to the chorus. Yeah. Um, and I proper wanted to get it right. I wanted to, like, give all the emotion that you wanted to get in there as well. So I recorded it, I think, like, two or three times. What I love about working with you guys is just, like, the humility. Because I think a lot of times when you go into sessions with, like, writers or producers, people come with their ego. They come with their ego, like, oh, well, I've done this and I've done that, so... Obviously, it's my session, <laughs> and I'm gonna say what happens. But it's just like it's just about creativity, and it's about doing what's best for the song. When do you start playing live? About 16, mm. yeah, 16, 17. Um, doing like my own like proper live shows, but it was it was under like a completely different thing. So I'm definitely not gonna say what the name of the group was, but I was <laughs> once. Well, say it. Nah, say absolutely. It. Because that's it. still on YouTube and it needs to stay hidden. Say it. No, it's actually like a career ruiner. Um, <laughs> I was in an all female rock band. Oh, <laughs> cool. Are you gonna have to play it now? It's on YouTube. It's I almost YouTube. leaked the name. What? Oh shit. What's the name? <laughs> no, do it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's it on no. YouTube. Yeah, oh please. What's it called? Queen King. King. Queens of Sheba. <laughs> oh, Sheba. Yeah. Oh, we started doing shows yeah, like in Camden. Yeah. 
at a Blue's Kitchen. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sick. Started doing shows. Still part of the journey though. Oh. No, I used to be vexed because he would never, our manager at the time wouldn't, wouldn't let us write our own songs. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Wait, what? You're actually seeing the visual? Oh my god! <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, basically you know, just take this and go down your way. Uh, yeah, just... Uh, just work out where I'm going. Yeah, you just go right, right, left and go around. Yeah. Uh, play. Yeah, you can tell yourself. So bad. I love the picture. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> After lunch, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it though. You don't have to lie. You don't have to lie. Oh shit! Thank God that's over.